enter Biafra channel one, channel two. Are you are listening to us today on all platform? And this is a very special broadcast. And as you can notice that I come very, very early today. And of course, because of programs. I know that a lot of people will be surprised that we come this early. We are going to have this program because the usual time and the normal time that we normally have the program where everybody probably will be waiting for, they will come later on and watch the program. Fortunately, they are not going to watch the program live. This evening, we are going to have this particular broadcast, you know, as brief as possible, as brief as possible. We are going to uh, play one more video and we start. Nigeria on a daily basis witness the impunity, which is a so-called Falani Hertzman extremist, who shared ethnic and religious identity with President Buhari and the Fulani elite, which now dominates all key institutions in Nigeria. To open an investigation specifically into the wide-scale and systematic killing of the civilian population, and most notably targeting the indigenous people of Biafra. It's clear that now we put uh, the Biafran issue on the radar screen uh, of the government, of the Biden administration, of Congress. Uh, ongoing and wide-scale systematic killing of the civilian population and again specifically targeting the IPOB. Of, of weapons being used against the Afrans but affirmatively supporting an effort to have a independence referendum organized and conducted by the United Nations as we've done in South Sudan. They formally open an investigation and look into what we are identifying as a genocide that's being committed by the Nigerian government and extremist Fulanis against the indigenous people of Biafra. Uh, there's been nothing in experience since 1960 to suggest there simply is not a way, uh, given the, the history of division between the Fulani and the Biafrans to think that they can coexist under a single sovereign roof. All right, you're welcome back. We welcome back to the program. We are going to start without wasting time, like I said, and uh, uh, the uh, our audience that normally wait for me uh, in the next three hours will come to watch the program later on. Welcome this evening. I have watched very closely some of the propaganda on social media and I laugh. Sometimes I do not want to respond to those distracting us because most of those propagandas are just to distract what we're doing. I want to inform Biafrans today that we have defeated Nigeria. We have defeated Nigeria. We have defeated the saboteurs of Biafra, who have defeated those who their job is to sabotage whatever we do. I am telling you, we have defeated them. And the only thing they can do now is to look for how to blackmail the Eastern Security Network. It is not going to work. I want to inform you all that the governors of the Southeast have declared themselves the enemy of Biafra people. And the enemy of Biafra people, they will continue to be. Those who have declared that they are going to be the enemies of Biafra, we will make them the enemies of Biafra. Stop calling me. Those who say that Biafra people will not live to see their freedom, they will also not leave to see the Biafra people get their freedom. We have made it very clear, the Southeast governors who are known Fulani stooge, 
They have made themselves the enemy of their own people and we welcome this development. The development is that, I want to make it very clear, when the Supreme Court of Nigeria discharged and acquitted Mazen Amdikano, the governors did not come out to back that particular decision or make pronouncement telling Nigeria government who claim that they want to follow the rule of law to obey their court order. They didn't do it. And what they did is, because from the from all education, we believe that Southeast directly involved again in manipulating with the Fulanese to install kangaroo judgment with the Fulani government in the last, the same court of appeal. And they made it that elephant can fly. So this particular impunity in the judiciary against Mazinam the and against Biafra can never ever be possible without the involvement of the Southeast governors. So because of this particular development, the Southeast governors has declared themselves the enemy of Biafra, and we are going to engage them. We are going to engage them because they have also become the oppressors. They have demonstrated that the interests they protect are not the interests of the Biafra people. They have demonstrated that the interests they protect are the interests of the Fulanese. So we are going to fight them the same way we fight the Fulanese terrorists. I want you to understand that in a revolution that is coming very soon, those enemies of our freedom will be directly, whatever we do for this liberation and this particular revolution that is coming is against everybody that is against us, from the governors down to the lowest. Revolution don't know who is the governor and who is not the governor. When a revolution comes, it comes like a wind and it blows everything that start to start on the way. The revolution will come and it blows everything away. The only difference is that the revolution that is coming is not a revolution to better government. It is a revolution for freedom. And it is coming and we are going to make sure that the governors will never know peace until we liberate ourselves from them. At the same time, we are going to liberate Bia France from the governors of the Southeast. the same time, we will liberate ourselves from the British enslavement. I want to inform you today that it is very, very shameful for even the Biafra people that are fighting with us to be worried about the blackmail against the Eastern Security Network. It is very shameful. Very, very shameful. It's very, very shameful that a lot of people are sending audio recorded, concocted audio message to me how Eastern Security Network is threatening people to bring money, to send them money, a doctor, and people are actually sharing it. People are actually feeling, you know, concerned. It's a shame. I, I'm telling you. And at the same time, I wouldn't blame them. It's completely a shame that in Nigeria that we know very well how the people take advantage of whatever they found themselves in to scam people. Some people are still very feeling concerned. Some people are feeling very, very concerned. When all these things are happening, we are just looking at them and we are laughing. And this evening, I have just come to address some of you who, instead of you to focus on something and ignore all those blackmails, you are concerned and sharing the audio, helping the enemies to spread the news, helping the enemies to spread propaganda. And you will share the audio, you will say, oh, please, Simon, address it, address it. It is not uh, uh, ESN. 
This is a lie. You know it is a lie. You are waiting for Simon to address it. You know it is a lie. You are still waiting for Simon to, to address it. So why would you not go and start addressing it and you are waiting for Simon to do it? Is Simon going to do every distracting thing? Is Simon going to be handling every... No! You already know that it is a lie. You already know that it is a propaganda. And you continue to share it and say, Oh, Simon, address it, address it. Why are you sharing it? Why are you sending it to people? Why would you help those who want to, you know, blackmail our Eastern Security Network to get, you know, what they want? This is coming from Obi, obedient, Obi idiot people. Only they know that, uh, of course, the, the point is that the, 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 the level where this agitation is now, the liberation is now, we don't, uh, uh, you know, somebody said because... You, I am I'm the spokesman. It is not everything a spokesperson responds to. No. There are things that doesn't make sense. Okay? There are many things that doesn't make sense. You know, it is not every Tom and Jerry that run the spokesperson will respond to. You already know that this is a lie. You already know that Eastern Security Network cannot pick a phone and call anybody and demand for money. You already know that that's a lie. Okay? But because you have demanded for, for me to address it, I have come this evening. It is going to be one of the 10 I am going to address. Now, I am going to play the audio, the audio of the blackmail of the Southeast governors as they are struggling to blackmail the Eastern Security Work. I want everybody to listen. Hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, doctor. From tomorrow morning, Anya Charles Zima operates to know who gave up with ever know again. Anyone who are going against our instruction, I don't know who going to lie for the Anya Boy. Akoko. Be with your message, I said, don't have to give up. Akoko. Call number in the buggy, let the chief be. Every two words in and the other one will have a number. I want to tell you using the Hanaga Chopper, Kapasha Chani, or Taisha Chopper, or Manta. I go. Amotago, who could a general and above a commander here, and look at us out. Ako, 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 I this one more to recognize before. Now, um, I believe that all of you may have listened to this scam. You know, scammers. It is just ordinary Nigeria scammer. Nigeria breed criminals. Now, in case you do not know, or some of you out of your ignorance and because of the Fulani thing you are eating, you may all have forgotten the way scammers work. They use whatever that is available to them. So I want to show you something. Let us listen to this. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, I think I was talking with you on the phone. Yes, sir. His daughter is a beautiful girl. Okay, so what is the situation now? What is the situation? The situation is that they have to do something for no matter Okay. Okay. I I 
to, to get you, to with you. Okay. okay. You have you not have stated, stated what is the position as to how, to how much I paid what is what left. Left. The, the, the position is that we are asked to be so, so you have to come to pay. To pay. Okay. Okay. And when did you? When did? When did you? When? When? As we are refreshing, uh, we are going to uh, play it again because of uh, uh, the uh, this thing is cracking too much. So we are going to replay it again from the beginning. So I want everybody to pay attention to this. It's not what we are expecting. That's why I want to for from your videos. Okay. Um. I. I spoke. My boss asked me to get in touch with you. Okay. You have yes. not stated what is the position as in too much has been paid. What is left? The position is that we are asked to pay seventy thousand there, but we are able to get thirty thousand there. I've won now since the day it happened, but I'm, I'm trying my best. So it's, you have forty thousand more to pay. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, and uh, when did you when? Okay. Okay. It's not that they are charging you per day. It's not that they're, they're not charging you per day for being in the hospital. No, it's not per day. It's not per day, sir. Okay. Once well, so I, I saw, I saw the bonds of, of the little girl. How old is she? She's says five years old, sir. Okay. One well, second. Then the account. What's the name of the baby? The, her name is Talkboy. So, so, Talkboy. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. That means this bond is quite a lot. Are you sure they're going to be able to do it? Where is the hospital like that? It's a COVID, sir. Where is that? It's a, it's a private hospital. Where? Shagamsa, Shagamsa. Is that, that's is that Lagos State or Ogun State? Ogun State, sir. Why can't you get her to Lagos? You know where is a hospital? I can organize that for you. One second, I'm looking for the account again. Uh, I've just uh, I've just uh, switched the network. So I'm going to play it again uh, so that you all will uh, listen and uh, listen very attentively. One moment. With a Bernada has a little problem. That's why I want to have. Okay, were you involved in a, a charity? You know where? where? No, I didn't have any. How did you get in with him? Give me that you're Get a number. Uh, they come and was once they come to the University of Lagos. I was, uh, hello, hello, yeah, hello, yeah, listen, sorry, yeah, hello, I can hear There's you. one of our that they, um, she has assisted when we are in school, so they is the one that I read to her that she may help me. 
Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I get what you're saying. All right, so um, account number. What's, what's the name on the account? Oluwashi Wokemita. Okay, is that your name? Yes, sir. Okay, Oluwashi Are you What state yes, are you Sir? What state are you from? I'm from Mimo State, but my mom is from sir. Okay, <laughs> yes, all right. Okay, and your daughter is how old again? She's five years old, sir. Okay. For me to transfer, obviously you know you know about my charity, don't you? Yes, sir. Or Yes, sir. Okay. Before we can do the transfer, you said you're looking for forty thousand, isn't it? Okay. Um, he's gonna. Think, I don't believe that the genuine. I don't believe that this. This is a genuine um, cry for help, okay? I don't believe this is a genuine cry for help. We get this a lot of um, time. Number. We have a phone number. We have two phone numbers for this person. We have his voice. So you see, this is just example of what nigeria is all about so you know uh, this is just not this is this is a daily basis thing in nigeria people calling and claiming to do what they are not doing let me bring another one so i want to show the another one before we continue there is another one Good afternoon, how are you? I'm fine. This is something. I see you are speaking, Mr. Abelo Yakubu. Are you hearing right. me? Yeah. 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 Yakubu. We are doing system upgrade. Are you hearing me? We are doing system yeah. upgrade. We have upgraded all ATM networks. Due to the BVM, you don't recently. A lot yes. of people are complaining that anytime you have to withdraw, they'll be debiting them money. Are you yeah. 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 hearing me? So the report market to CBN of his own. The governor of Central Bank now finding that it is not on. Governor of Central yeah. Bank of Nigeria. Okay. We have done the upgrade now. We are through with the upgrade. The activation of ATM card is now what we are doing. Okay. Your ATM card is bad due to your BVM. Yes, sir. Which bad due to your BVM? Uh -huh. Your okay. BVM. Okay, I I did to be bad. Okay. Did to be bad. Yes. So do you know the last? Are you with there with the ATM card? Uh huh. Yes, sir. Are you with your ATM card? Is it with his uh, ATM card? No, I'm not with it now. From Central Bank of Nigeria. Where is your ATM card, please? Okay, where is your uh, ATM is card? Okay. What what is that? I need to bring. Let me um, bring it and come back. Okay, right. listen to me. Do you know the last time you withdraw with your ATM card? Okay. Yes. Go to reactivate it. What to reactivate it? Connected for a for a moment. Are you yes. Yes. He's calling from the bank. So when last did you withdraw with the ATM card? Uh huh. Uh, yesterday. How much did you withdraw? How much did you withdraw? <laughs> Yes. Okay. So how much is now your available balance? How much is available balance? I don't know for now, no. Okay. Your available balance is zero to three hundred thousand. Yeah, it's uh, and it's from the central it's bank. Yeah. All right. Okay, hello, sir. We are calling for the conveniences. Are you hearing me? Okay. Yes. So you are we are going to rectify your ATM card for you immediately. But so give me your ATM card and call us back so that we can rectify it for you. Okay, okay. What, what information? What information? That is on details in your phone, in your ATM card that you are going to call for us to rectify it for you. Yes. <laughs> this is like what I want. So let me know if I can just um, copy it out. Because I don't like anything it's about. Uh -huh. Listen to me. Are you not, are you not at your home? Uh -huh. No, I said I don't like having my ATM, ATM card around. Can you tell me the details in you so that I can copy it out? Oh. Hello, sir. Can I hear you? Uh huh. There is a long number written in the front of your ATM card. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. You are started with 5399. Are you seeing it yet? Yes. Okay, you are going to call it for us and for us to reactivate your ATM card for you. Okay, okay. you don't know the first you number, you don't know the last number. It's not only that number, you will call the month at the year it will expire, uh -huh. the authorized signature and the pin that you use to withdraw so that we can rectify it for you. All so right. And the pin that I use to withdraw. <laughs> yes. Uh, call okay. the pin he will withdraw okay. money so that they can find the Where are you working at? Uh -huh. Where are you working at? I work at uh, at Abuja. I work at Abuja. In Abuja. Uh -huh. yeah. Which 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 bank? Which bank? That is his artistic department. At what? 
CBN. CBN. <laughs> yeah. Okay, can I get your name again, please? Uh, My so, number is the number that is your name, your name, your name. Mr. Velo Yakubu. Yes, Mr. Velo Yakubu. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah, tell what you want to say. Because I I may come to Abuja tomorrow. Can I meet you so that uh, All right. we discuss? Listen if, to me. If uh, the next one hour now, I will be having a meeting with yes. the vice president. Yes. Okay, I'll have a meeting with the vice president for the next one hour. Yeah, it's very important. You know, Gwari is not around. Are you hearing me? Yes, okay, Gwari is yes. not around. Okay. We are having a meeting. If you can come down to uh, Asurok, mm. it will be better so that we can discuss here. Yes, okay, can Asurok. Can Asurok. <laughs> yeah, can you come? I can come to Asurok. And you can just come. Not you, I said tomorrow, no, I'm not talking about that. Uh, yeah. What you have here, you call this over there, I will tell you the majors to open the gate for you so that you will come and see us. Yes. Oh, okay, no problem. Uh, that's it all. Do you live in Asuro? Yeah, I've been in Asuro. You hear me so? Yes. In fact, I don't go to Asuro, and then you go to Asuro. You hear me so? 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 Okay. Aleni, Aleni, that is the, the PDP chairman. Okay. PDP chairman. Mm. Yeah. PDP chairman is not Aleni. Okay. Oh, it's only the PDP chairman. You're not the PDP chairman. Uh-uh. PDP chairman is Shelly. Okay. Okay. Okay, no problem. Okay. 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 Oh my God! Eh, 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 you see, you see, so uh, this is this is Nigeria. Criminals in Nigeria, they use whatever that is happening, whatever that people rely on, to do their four one nine. Somebody will call you. I am ESN. Uh, come and give us money. You know, this is it. That is what they are learning okay. now. Salute those people. Hello, hello. Yeah, doctor. Listen, now. From tomorrow, I'm not sure if you're afraid to not get into the bar. Uh huh. I'm not sure if you're afraid to not go. Tomorrow, no. Hmm. Anyone who are there against our instruction, I don't know if we're going to be able to get any more yego. Ah, koko. You want to know message? I said, don't follow me, nobody. Uh huh. Pagam, you see, as they are learning, they are learning the new tactics, they are opening new market. So Eastern Security Network now is new market. I want to inform our people in Biafra land. All these things are just what the politicians and the real criminals are cooking against Eastern Security Network. If anybody call you like this, just ban your phone. Bam! Pinya the phone. Don't waste your time. You can even record it and have fun. They are not Eastern Security Network. Eastern Security Network don't call anybody. Eastern Security Network don't demand money from anybody. Calling you on the phone, demanding money, is not a security network. There are all these Yega, Chukude, Yakubu, all of them that we have, you know, that have been engaged or engaging in all this uh, uh, phone uh, scam and all that. Calling you on the phone, so they have to use something very, you know, uh, you know, that people are respecting. So when they call you, I am a security network. Pay money into my account. We will come to shoot you. Of course, you know, every reasonable person that listens to this will know that it's just completely scam. So I just, uh, you know, my, my worry is that people are sharing it. Simon, we call your attention on this. 
Look at, this is not ESN. Everybody know, even you that is sharing this audio to me, you yourself know that this is not ESN. Another person that share it to another person will know, will say, these are not ESN. You are sharing it to somebody. You are telling the person, these are not ESN. The person is sharing it to another person. Another person is saying, these are not ESN. So why are you sharing it? The people that made this audio or the people that are actually really scamming people in the name of that they are ASN and they are scared and they pay money, you are just only really, really cable. Do not do it. Do not pay money to anybody. ESN don't, ESN don't contact anybody and money. So don't call and do not send it to anybody because ESN don't, uh, ESN don't, uh, ESN don't call anybody and demand for money. Very, very important. Very, very important. So if you can understand the level of criminality in Nigeria, you know, somebody like uh, me, and of course many people, it doesn't bother us. Hmm? It doesn't bother us. So we know. We know their tactics. Now let me, I don't even want to go and start playing it, but because we have played some of it, let me play it for those who have come across this audio. Disregard it. And anybody that anybody is contacting Biafra Land, share this video to them. Share this video to them. Commander ESN, or Canada South. There is nothing like Commander Okanata sound. Exactly. I'm not because of two reasons. One. Exactly. Amaronya nenye if you don't give anything to anybody. In your kwa eman area na gimugu. And when you when you give out of that no ESN, you are encouraging them. You are encouraging them to call other people and threat. They will begin to look for number of many business people and they will begin to call them. And this is the reason why I, I am happy. One thing I'm happy about, the good thing I'm happy about is that. You know, this this audio that came out, it is good that uh, that it actually came out. Because some of these, all these uh, gossipers, they will be gossiping, oh, ESN is going from market to market. ESN is collecting this. ESN is calling people. E ESN doesn't do that. ESN doesn't call anybody. And I'm making it very clear this evening. So I want you to disregard this, this audio and disregard it. It is not ESN and it can never be ESN. I think I don't need to waste time on this. I have a lot of uh, things to do. I have better things to do and that's what I'm going to do now. So we are going to, uh, you know, <laughs> I think so there is one funny video I would want to play. <laughs> so let me play it. <laughs> okay. That's one funny I really want to, and I want uh, everyone to listen. Very, very important. Mr. Speaker, seriously, I heard <laughs> some people today. Compared, somebody with a capital of 300,000, he is scared to keep the money in his home. He takes to the bank. Maybe the profit you will get out of that 300 so like is 5,000 or 7,000 naira. The bank will remove the 10,000 for the deposit. Oh, Mr. Speaker, if we, if we, if we really can look at the situation, Mr. Speaker, people are suffering in this country 
and now we are going to the civilian now are trying to become a robbers. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, Mr. Speaker, if CBN, if CBN will post this, how can you, Mr. Speaker, I told you, take your money, your own money to the bank to keep? Bank will remove, when you want to, to, to remove something because we keep the money. Mr. Speaker, people, this, this money is very. Honorable Kaza, it's called handling charges. Handling, handling charges. Okay. Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, there is handling, there is, uh, they, are, they, are, they are reducing the charges. Okay. One <laughs> thing is there is charges already. Whenever you put money in the bank, they, they, they will remove the charges. And uh -huh. mostly, they will remove withdrawal <laughs> percentage. Every month. Already there is that withdrawal percentage and others. But this, this Mr. Speaker, because mm. if you deposit money, you yeah. keep your money. So now they are, they are telling us that our local people will, will, will be able to take their money to the bank. Yes. And at last, then the criminal will get opportunity to go and, and, and continue stealing the money. Yeah. So, Mr. Speaker, seriously, this issue will cause serious problems in this country. That is why we must. We must call the attention of the CBN to stop this implement. Now, Mr. Speaker, they say, if you are withdrawing 500, so, uh, above 500,000, there is charges. Of course, since we, we need the cashless policy to, in, in this country, that policy is good. If you are unique, you pay. That one is where you are. You just deposit. You are depositing your money. And I was withdrawing something. And when you come to withdraw, you will, so at last, somebody with a small capital, a bank will, 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 will make him to, to, to become loose, Mr. Speaker. At last, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you will, will allow us to continue in this country, Mr. Speaker, seriously, we cannot go to our constituency. If we go to our constituency. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And he is qualified in his constituency. <laughs> he is the most qualified. This is the result of a dangerous diversity. Now, you are looking for a country that will compete among nations. And you see, somebody who cannot communicate. He can communicate with the Chinese. He cannot communicate with European. He cannot communicate. He cannot communicate with America. He cannot communicate with a British person. He cannot communicate. So he is, you know, <laughs> he just come there and everybody is laughing. All of them are laughing. They are enjoying themselves. You know, I'm not saying that uh, you know, you know, <laughs> at least he can speak our language. <laughs> you know, we don't understand our language. But there is something that uh, we understand in Nigeria, which is the broken English. Everybody understands broken English. Now, I want you to understand what the dangerous diversity can do. You, from the southern Nigeria, if you can speak this level of English, or if you can, because it is not about English now, it is about communication. If you can communicate level in the south, you will, be, you will be picking things from the dustbin. I am telling you. You will be picking from the dustbin. But look at, from the north, he is a representative, uh, you know, he's at the National Assembly representing the north. <laughs> and many of them are like that. Now, that is not why I'm here. Why I'm here is now where let us go and address the southeast governors. Very important. States have agreed to start joint security patrol in all major highways as a measure to contain the rise in insecurity in the region. And joining me now from 
advised the governor of Abia State, Dr. Okeze Ifazud, for more insights on this development. Good to have you on the news at 10 tonight. So now let's first off start with this on the agreement to set up the 24-hour joint patrol. Talk to us about how the governors intend to make this happen, especially as we understand that the region has another security network set to have launched by uh, Namdi Kana, which is to be the Eastern Security Network and also aims to well protect the Southeast from terrorists and other criminal elements. How does this to intend to work? Well, um, thank you very much. Uh, the deal of the governors to set up uh, this uh, joint operation is um, season two of phase two of uh, what we started uh, uh, several months ago by making sure each of the states have uh, uh, a security outfit under the ages of a bubago. So we want to operationalize um, and deepen uh, the security uh, uh, operations in the Southeast as the Yuletide approaches. This is our response to the spread of insecurity. You will recall that a few months ago or a few weeks ago, a distinguished senator was attacked uh, in Anambra. You also know that um, I want dear friends to understand that talk about uh, establishing another security for the Southeast in the highway and all that. It is not targeted at the kidnappers. It is not targeted at the terrorists. It is targeted at the Eastern Security Network because they know with the people that the saboteurs among us have told them that the Eastern Security Network is about to go out, especially to engage those kidnappers that are kidnapping our people in the highway. And that is why they now come all of a sudden to want to have a security in the highway. I want to ask the Southeast governors, are you more concerned and protected about your security in the, uh, on the highway than the security of Abuja, <clears throat> the capital of Nigeria? I am asking a common question with a common sense. The Southeast government be trusted. They have demonstrated to be the enemies of their own people. They set up a bubago to fight against Eastern Security Network. Have you ever, since the inauguration of a bubago, heard that a bubago arrested a Fulani killer? I want to ask you a question. It has always been a bubago versus the Eastern Security Network. You can never hear where they say a bubago arrested a Fulani criminal. In fact, they even go and start using their car to knock down ordinary Biafrans that are waiting for bus by the roadside. It happened in Anambra. We saw all the video. They brutalized them and all that. But I want you to show me one video where a Bubago, in the name of a Bubago, have arrested a Fulani terrorist. Anywhere. Please, if you have, show me because I have not seen. But if I ask you a video of a Bubago and the ESN, both whether they are ESN and not ESN, no, it is everywhere on the, in the internet. So when they, when they have not even protected our farmland, our women, now they are talking about bringing security to the express high, uh, to the highway. You know, it is all fake and lies. And that's why we are going to come hard on the governors from now going forward. Because if the government who sponsored terrorism and who sponsored terrorists give the military uniform cannot protect Abuja and Kaduna Highway. Is it the Southeast that they hate so much that they're going to bring security to protect? Is it the Southeast that they want to annihilate that they are going to bring a security that will protect your highway? The answer is no. We think far. They hate Biafra and the Southeast with passion. And if anybody is telling you now that what they are bringing to the, uh, to the expressway or the, to the highway in the southeast is anything security, 
my brother, you don't know Nigeria. You need to, you need to open your eyes. What the, uh, what the Southeast governors are trying to do is to also lock the highway against the Eastern Security Network activities because we are about to confront the criminals and the terrorists who actually have surrendered our forest. Those people you see that are coming small, small in Nsuka, somewhere in Nsuka to kidnap, they are just coming to do that. There are many of them in the forest. Yet, the governors see that these kidnappers are kidnapping our people just before military checkpoint. In every military checkpoint, one kilometer away, that is where the kidnapping business is taking place. And it is an arrangement between the military and the Fulani terrorists, which some of the military are part of them. So we are making it very clear to the governors that this particular exercise that they want to embark on will definitely bring a very, very big rot of Biafra. It is going to be a face-off between them and the Biafra people. Because the kidnapping will increase, because we know the people that are making, have, you know, committing this uh, kidnapping uh, are the security agents. So, but if what I am saying now makes sense, it means that you have to be part of this particular revolution against them. Because Abuja and Kaduna Expressway is a very good example. That is the only place that should set example for others to follow. The capital city of Nigeria. The capital of Nigeria is Abuja. Abuja is not protected. And it is the southeast they want to bring military to protect you. The answer is no. I want everybody to open their eyes and their ear. Abuja people are running away. And the, the southeast governors who are women. A woman is better than when I say women, I, women forgive me. The southeast governors are idiots. Complete idiot, all of them, from A to Z. People that cannot talk, you know, when their people are being persecuted and they call themselves leaders, they are complete idiot. And believe me, we don't have one single respect for them. And so therefore, as we are fighting for our freedom, they are against our freedom. So we have made them, or they made themselves our enemy and we are going to start handling them as such. And you people, we are, you are going to hear, you are going to see it. It is no longer, we know they talk again. It is a woto woto language. The governors of the Southeast, you have declared war against your people. Because Nigeria has collapsed. The security architecture in Nigeria has collapsed. The only hope we have is the Eastern Security Network and the other Biafra armed agitators who take it upon themselves to fight against terrorists that are invading our land. And all you do is to bring Fulani terrorists also to kill them, to suppress the particular security we are going, trying to give our people. We are not looking face of any governor. I want you people to understand that this particular statement coming from this man is a sham. Uh, prelate or Methodist Church was uh, and uh, released after payment of ransom. And, uh, the SSG of Enugu uh, also suffered in the hands of these people. So what we are trying to do is to make sure we have more boots around to ensure that uh, we we will patrol all the major highways. But beyond that, there is a committee as I speak working on. Uh, on our border communities, because what we know is, is that crime in Abia and just move over to Imo and become a gentleman, and vice versa, somebody can commit a crime in Ebony and move into Abia and become a gentleman. So we want you see, and you can understand where they are going. Tell this governor that the people committing the crime don't have boundary. The people committing the crime are people we call nomadic. So I don't understand from which investigation 
that this man is talking about somebody committing crime in uh, in Enugu and we go to Ebony and become a, a gentleman. I don't know the kind of crime that this man is talking about that uh, this somebody will commit in Anambra and will go to Imo and become a gentleman. I do not understand the crime he's talking about. But if he is talking about the crime of this terrorism and kidnapping in Biafra highways, like the Anon or Rampage in Onsoka area, is that the same crime this man is talking about? If it's the same crime the man is talking about, then he don't deserve to be even a clerk. He don't deserve to be a secretary. He is not qualified. Because if he qualified to be anything, not to talk of being a chief security officer of the state, he will understand that the people that are on in the highway kidnapping doesn't have any state in Nigeria. They don't belong to any state. And they are not gentlemen. Both in the forest, both on the road, both in the market where they go to buy whatever they eat, and in any way they are, they can never and there has never been gentlemen. So if you watch, if you watch and listen to this particular statement from this man, you find out that the target is still the Eastern Security Network. Is a full a gentleman? Have you seen any full in the highway shooting God and kidnapping? And after that, he come to Obawusa and become a gentleman? It's a simple sense I'm making here. I want you people to understand what these governors are thinking, how they are thinking. And that is why they, since now, from this particular thing they have done so far, it is now clear that they are the enemy of Biafra and we are going to fight them. I am telling you, we are going to fight the governors from A to Z. They will never sleep again. I am telling you, in their various state, they will never sleep again until further notice. Because it is a direct declaration of war. And we are entering revolution. Revolution will swallow all of them. Except if they are not in the, in the Southeast. Believe me, they must be in the Southeast. We will capture all of them one day. All of them, red-handed, we capture them. And they are going to pay for the killings in our land. Look at what this man is saying. That somebody will commit crime in Anambra and will go to Imo and become a gentleman. Who, who is he referring to? Is he referring to a Fulani? Is he referring to the terrorists that are in the bush that will come and become a gentleman? No. All these things you see, they are referring to Biafrans. Who they have no evidence of their criminality. They are referring to Eastern Security Network. They are, they are referring to other pro Biafra group. They are not referring to the criminals. They are not referring to the people that America are raising alarm. They are not referring to the people that Britain are raising alarm. They are not referring to the people that Abuja is deserted because of them. No, they are referring to Biafrans. Because it is only Biafra that can move from one state to another and can continue to be a gentleman anywhere he or she, you know, anywhere he goes. It's only Biafra. So are you telling me that what this man is talking about, the highway and those who commit crime and go to another state, that he was actually talking about eliminating the terrorist Fulani? The answer is no. The answer is no. So I want you to watch. Want to that um, our border communities are greatly sensitized and we can uh, actually monitor and apprehend these hoodlums. Because such synergy will ensure that there is no, there will be no hiding place uh, for any of them. I want to reinforce what was uh, said by the chairman of our forum that um, ESN was not a creation of a uh, status government and uh, to that extent, we don't determine the operation, the architecture, and um, the uh, modus operandi of that outfit. 
So it will be difficult for us to um, rely solely on what ESN is doing. Yes. Do you hear that? It is difficult to rely solely on what ESN is doing. They recognize that ESN is doing fantastic job. But you know, they have to kill them to please Fulanese. Even against their own wish. What this man have said here have revealed a lot of things again. You know, I told you people that what we are doing this evening is to analyze their, their statement, analyze what is in their mind, bring out what how they think, and you are going to know it. So what this man said here is that ESN is doing something, but they cannot rely on what ESN is doing. They cannot rely solely on what ESN is doing because they don't know their modus operandi and they don't know the architecture or whatever, you know. So, but, so for that reason, they cannot just trust solely on ESN. So they have come to realize that ESN is doing a fantastic job, but they have to also kill them against their own wish to please the Fulanese. I am telling you, you see, what he said here, what he said here is not a lie. He said they cannot rely on ESN alone, which means they also rely on ESN. But at the same time, they have to kill ESN to please Fulani against their own will. Because if they don't do it, they are going to have a face-off with the Fulanis and all their wealth will go. So what you see them having today is what we call blood money. If you do not know the definition of blood money, the entire governor of the Southeast are now living on blood money. The blood money is that when the ESN have done nothing wrong other than the protection of the people because of the failed state, Governors will continue to milk Nigeria by eliminating many Eastern Security Network to prove to the Fulanese that they are loyal to the government. Like Omahe, Omahe will open his mouth. He will say, I swear an oath to protect Nigeria constitution. Omahe swear oath to protect Nigeria constitution. The same Omahe listening to how the Supreme Court gave a judgment exonerating Mazin and the Kano, discharging Mazin and the Kano. Yet, Omahi did not come to defend that constitution. Is it not a constitution? Omahi was bragging on the video. Everybody watched the video where he said, I was elected and I swore on oath to defend the constitution. Is the Supreme Court decision not part of the constitution Omahi is supposed to defend? But did Omahi come to give statement on that particular ruling? The answer is no. Umahi only came, or after all of them, after they have cooked their thing with the full anise and the elephant grow wing as they fly. That was when someone courage to come and start talking about political solution. So what is Nigeria constitution all about? If Nigeria constitution is no longer, you know, constitution, that it is now a political solution, it is going to be an agreement between politicians and politicians. If the Nigeria is being ruled and governed by ordinary agreement on political interests of regions between the North and the South or between the North and the uh, Biafra, why then do you have the constitution? Because, you know, when they talk about this political solution, people don't even know the implication. The implication of the political solution they are talking about is that the political interest between these criminals this corrupt politician is above the Nigerian law. It's above the Nigerian constitution. Because a court has given a ruling to release Mazen Namdekano unconditional. And that is not respected. Now they want to respect the political solution, which will be interest-driven. Omahi will say, let us allow election to hold and let us release Mazen Namdekano. And then against the court order. So it is no longer the Nigeria constitution, and any country that doesn't have law is already a failed country. So I want you people to listen to the analysis I'm making today 
and you know where this problem is coming from. The Southeast governors have demonstrated that they are the worst enemy and we are going to fight them and we are ready to fight them as part of the liberation of Biafra. Therefore, we want to see how we can uh, do something as uh, a people to make sure that our region is safer. Then how would you react to the allegation that Labour Party presidential candidate that ESN was formed by the Southeast governors? That is fallacious and not true. The ESN was not formed by the governors. The governors formed a bubago. And uh, in forming, we consulted widely the governors and uh, the leaders of the entire Southeast, met severally at Enugu and decided to, to, to come up with the Bubago. And it was not done in secret. At no point did we, I don't know where that information came from. And uh, this of uh, that in our communique was just to put record threats. All right. Mm -hmm. Presented by the Southeast governors, they say that they believe that on security. Let's talk about polit political matters still on the same issue now. There's a, they are asking a political solution is possible with respect to the case of uh, Namdi vis a vis the court ruling. What, what does the Southeast governors mean by this? What are they talking about? Political solution? Well, um. In the first place, we are moved by the fact that um, there is um, a court judgment um, ordering the court to ordering the the, the that are uh, in custody of uh, Namdekano to release him forthwith. Hey, are you hearing the English? The man said that it's a court order ordering the people that are in the custody of Namdekano. <laughs> hey, Chideke God. I don't understand. The man said that is a court order. Ordering the people that are in the custody of man <laughs> of Mazidam Dikar is like this is like uh, what is that English they say Awo and uh, uh, Azikiwe or them, you know, uh, they were speaking during the colonial era and uh, and everything was upside down. I don't <laughs> who can remind me? <laughs> who, who who can remind me? <laughs> Uh, who can remind me? Oh, he, say, he said that those who are in the custody of Mazinam Dikano, is there anybody in the custody of Mazinam Dikano? Let us play it again because, <laughs> because, <laughs> listen, you know, he said those who are in the custody of Mazinam Dikano. Not judgment um, by the fact that um, there is um, a court. There is a court judgment um, ordering the court. But to order the, the, the those that are uh, in custody of uh, Namdekano to <laughs> ordering those who are in custody of Mars in Namdekano to release him for it. To release him for it. <laughs> please, please. Uh, are you people sure that? Are you people sure that? Uh, you know, I, we, we <laughs> please forgive me. <laughs> How are we going? <laughs> How are we going to? How are we going to solve this problem? Because, <laughs> yeah, can we? <laughs> and and and, <laughs> and he ended, he ended it with fought with. As an, English, as an English man, <laughs> he ended it with fought with. <laughs> let, us, let us hear it again. Well, um, in the first place, we are amazed by the fact there is um, a court judgment yes. um, ordering the court to order the, 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 those. Uh, in custody of uh, Namikano to so release him for two weeks. Uh, <laughs> okay, God. All right. And uh, the least we expect is that uh, court orders uh, should be obeyed. But I also understand that the federal government uh, has gone to court again. You see, 
But the least they expect is that others should be obeyed. When you listen to how he made this comment, you understand that he was I tell you, welcome back. I'm sorry for that. Uh, sorry for that uh, sound issue. I think we are back now. I need to really work on this for coming again. Maybe tomorrow we fix those things and we don't have this. Uh, don't have these uh, challenges again. I want you to understand that uh, that uh, you know we need to be asking these questions. What is going on? What are they doing? And all that. Let us. Uh, let us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the sound, the sound went off, and then let us continue. Let us continue. Uh, you said result possible, and um, I'm worried about the faith and the health of Mazi Namdekano. And uh, we are saying that um, conversations and discussion around. Um, um, Releasing Namde Kano can also be part of what we need to uh, 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 put on the table um, while uh, we see how that goes. And uh, uh, the governors are willing to participate in this conversation uh, uh, on the terms of the federal government. This is what we're saying because our people uh, really understand what is going on. Now. How will people understand, your people understand what is going on? When the law of Nigeria is not effective, when the law of Nigeria is not respected, how will somebody understand? Because all of you are mumu people. All these governors are very idiotic people. How would you expect people to understand you, understand whatever that is going on, when ordinary law, court order, the government don't want to obey it? And you people who are the governors did not also condemn the government for not obeying it. Rather, you went with the government, go into agreement with them to betray your own people. Because what, it, what has happened is very clear, that it was the governors of the Southeast that connived with the federal government to do the, the kangaroo court they did last time. And of course, that is the resolve of the Biafra people. And that is the reason why we are saying the revolution is coming and it is already in your various state. Make sure you, you stay in your various state to confront what is coming to you. Because Biafra have risen up. And we are going to fight all of you. Until Biafra come. I want you to be able to understand we are still having the sound issue. I want you to be able to understand that nothing 
will stop the tsunami from coming. I don't want this uh, particular broadcast to be, uh, you know, to be long. And the challenges of the, uh, you know, we are having with the net and all that. Of course, and for that reason, I want to end it here. And I want this particular broadcast to go everywhere. This month of November is the month of Water Water Pro Max. Is the month of a bara. Is the month that everybody have been waiting for. It is the month that the green light of Biafra will be shining very very bright. It is the month that Nigeria will never forget. It is the month that the world will talk about Biafra. It is the month that you will never ever forget. Of course, in a positive way. We are ready and we are taking the bull by its horn. From here, from me, it's good evening. And may God bless all of you. May God bless Biafra. May God bless Mazin and Bikano. May God bless on the Iboho. May God bless East Security Network. May God bless all alliances. May God bless Umwada and their husband. May God bless our media team. May God bless all of you that are supporting this Biafra liberation. May God bless our Nzenozo. May God bless our Ezemos. All of them. May God bless Indiche. All of them that are supporting Biafra. May God bless all of you as we are going to make sure that the water water will be in the highest volume from this month going forward. Water, water to the enemy of Biafra. Water, water to the enemies of Biafra. Water, water to the enemies of Biafra. Water, water to the enemies of Biafra. And those who say that Biafra will not come in 2023, water, water to you in the spirit, in the physical, and otherwise. Those who say, because when you say Biafra is not coming in 2023, it means that you are going to do whatever you can to make sure Biafra didn't come. When you say Biafra is not coming, it means fight against Biafra from next year. So anybody that is going to stand on a way to say Biafra will not come, woto woto to you from this month. From here, from me, it's good evening. You must go and listen to Simon Ekba, who is doing a very fantastic job. Very great job that Simon Ekba is doing. Very, 